My parents never supported my education, but my uncle stepped in and supported me. Now my parents want to take credit for my education, but I won't let it happen. I, 22M, am about to graduate from college next month. This is a huge achievement for me, especially considering the obstacles I face to get here. I want to share some background to explain why this is such a big deal and why I'm in this dilemma now. Growing up, my parents never supported my education. They always saw school as a waste of time and money. From a young age, they pushed me to start working and help my dad with running the household. My dad had a small business and was always struggling to make ends meet. He wanted me to quit school and work for him full time as soon as I was old enough. I really wanted to continue my education though. I loved learning and did well in school. My teachers always encouraged me to pursue higher education, but my parents shut down any talk of college. They said we couldn't afford it and that I needed to be practical and start earning money. Things came to a head when I was 16. I was about to start my junior year of high school, but my dad told me I had to drop out and work for him full time. We had a huge fight about it. I was devastated at the thought of having to give up on my dreams of going to college. That's when my uncle stepped in. He's my mom's brother and has always been supportive of my education. When he heard what was going on, he offered to help pay for my schooling. He said he believed in me and wanted to see me succeed. At first, my parents were furious. They didn't want to accept help from anyone, especially not my uncle who they didn't get along with. But eventually, they reluctantly agreed to let me finish high school with my uncle's financial support. My uncle continued to help me through college, too. He paid for my tuition and living expenses. Without him, there's no way I would have been able to go to university. My parents contributed nothing financially. The weird thing is, my parents started bragging to everyone about how they were putting me through college. They'd tell all their friends and relatives what a great job I was doing in school and how proud they were to be supporting my education. It made me so angry to hear them take credit when they had actually tried to prevent me from going to college in the first place. I never confronted them about it, though. I just focused on my studies and tried to make my uncle proud. He was the one who truly believed in me and made my education possible. Now I'm about to graduate with my bachelor's degree. It's a huge accomplishment and I'm so excited. When it came time to decide who to invite to the ceremony, I knew right away that I wanted my uncle there. He's the reason I made it this far. I only get two tickets for guests. I decided to invite my uncle and his wife. When my parents found out, they were furious. They demanded that I invite them instead. They said as my parents, they had the right to be there. They accused me of being ungrateful and disrespectful. I stood my ground, though. I told them that my uncle was the one who made this possible, so he deserved to be there. I reminded them that they had actually tried to prevent me from going to college. I said if it wasn't for my uncle, I would have had to drop out of high school to work for my dad. This led to a huge fight. My parents called me selfish and said I was choosing my uncle over my own family. They said I was embarrassing them by not inviting them to such an important event. They threatened to cut me off completely if I didn't change my mind. I didn't back down, though. I told them my decision was final. My uncle and aunt would be attending my graduation. My parents haven't spoken to me since then. They're giving me the silent treatment and have told other family members that I'm being a terrible son. Part of me feels guilty for hurting my parents like this. I know they're embarrassed about not being invited. And I understand that as my parents, they feel they have a right to be there. But I also feel like they don't deserve to celebrate an accomplishment they tried so hard to prevent. My uncle is the reason I'm graduating. He believed in me when my parents didn't. He invested in my future when they wanted me to give up on my dreams. I feel like he's earned the right to be there and see the fruits of his support. I'm torn about whether I'm doing the right thing. On one hand, I feel justified in my decision. On the other hand, I worry that I'm being too harsh on my parents. Maybe I should have found a way to invite all of them, even if it meant asking for extra tickets or having some people watch via live stream. The graduation is in a few weeks and I'm still conflicted. My uncle is excited to attend, but the rest of my family is upset with me. I'm starting to wonder if I made the wrong choice. So Reddit, should I have found a way to include everyone? Or am I right to stand my ground and honor the person who actually supported my education? I'd appreciate any advice or perspective you can offer. This situation is really weighing on me as my graduation approaches. I want to be able to enjoy this milestone without all this family drama hanging over me. I know family relationships are complicated. Maybe I'm being too black and white in my thinking. Perhaps there was a compromise I could have reached that would have made everyone happy.
but I also feel like my parents are being hypocritical by demanding to celebrate an achievement they tried to prevent. I'm also worried about the long-term consequences of this decision. Will this permanently damage my relationship with my parents? Am I going to regret not having them at my graduation? Or would I regret it more if I didn't honor my uncle's support? Part of me wonders if I should just give in and invite my parents to keep the peace. But another part of me feels like that would be betraying my uncle and everything he's done for me. I don't want to be ungrateful to the person who made my education possible. I've worked so hard to get to this point. I've overcome a lot of obstacles and challenges. I want to be able to celebrate this achievement without all this conflict and tension. But I also want to stay true to my principles and show appreciation to the person who believed in me. I'm also concerned about how this will affect my future. I'm about to enter the workforce and start my career. I worry that this family drama could spill over and impact other areas of my life. I don't want to be constantly torn between my parents and my uncle. Maybe I'm overthinking this whole situation. It's just a graduation ceremony, after all. But it feels like it represents so much more than that. It's about acknowledging the journey I've been on and the people who helped me get here. I've talked to some friends about this, and they're divided in their opinions. Some say I'm absolutely right to invite my uncle and stand up to my parents. Others think I'm being too harsh and should find a way to include everyone. I've considered trying to talk to my parents again and explain my perspective. But every time I've tried in the past, it's just led to more arguments. They refuse to acknowledge how unsupportive they were of my education. They maintain that they always wanted what was best for me, even if that meant not going to college. I've also thought about reaching out to other family members to mediate the situation. But I worry that will just drag more people into the drama and force them to take sides. I don't want this to become an even bigger family rift. As the graduation gets closer, the pressure is mounting to make a final decision. I know I need to send out the official invitations soon. Part of me just wants to elope and avoid the whole ceremony altogether. But I know I would regret not celebrating this achievement that I've worked so hard for. I keep going back and forth, questioning whether I'm being fair or whether I'm letting my resentment towards my parents cloud my judgment. I want to do the right thing, but I'm not sure what that is anymore. So that's where I'm at, Reddit. I could really use some outside perspective on this situation. Am I the asshole for choosing to invite my uncle instead of my parents? Should I stick to my guns or try to find a compromise? How do I navigate this family drama without letting it overshadow my accomplishment? I appreciate any insights or advice you can offer. I know this is a complex situation without any easy answers, but I'm hoping to get some clarity before I have to make my final decision about the invitations. Thank you for reading my long post. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Update. Hey everyone, I wanted to give an update on my situation with my graduation and the drama with my parents and uncle. First, I want to thank everyone who commented on my original post. Your advice and perspectives were really helpful as I navigated this difficult situation. After a lot of thought, I decided to stick with my original plan and invited my uncle and his wife to my graduation ceremony. It was the right choice. For me, even though it caused some tension with my parents, the graduation itself went well. It was an amazing feeling to walk across that stage and receive my diploma. Seeing my uncle in the audience, beaming with pride, made it even more special. I knew he truly understood the significance of that moment and everything it took for me to get there. However, things took a turn after the ceremony. I found out that my parents had been spreading rumors and lies about my uncle to our extended family and friends. They were telling people that my uncle was a cunning, manipulative man who was trying to steal me away from them because he didn't have children of his own. They painted him as some kind of villain who had come between us and ruined our family. I was furious when I heard about this. It felt like a new low, even for my parents. They were so desperate to save face and avoid taking responsibility for their own actions that they were willing to slander my uncle, the person who had actually supported my dreams and made my education possible. I knew I couldn't let these lies stand. My uncle had done so much for me, and he didn't deserve to have his reputation dragged through the mud like this. I decided I needed to set the record straight and clear the air with everyone. So about a week after graduation, I arranged a small gathering at my apartment. I invited my closest friends, my uncle and aunt, and several family members who had heard my parents' rumors. I also invited my parents, though I wasn't sure if they would show up. To my surprise, my parents did come. I think they were curious about what I was planning. 
When everyone had arrived, I asked for everyone's attention. I took a deep breath and began to speak. I started by thanking everyone for coming and for supporting me throughout my educational journey. Then I addressed the elephant in the room. I said I knew there had been some rumors and speculation going around about my relationship with my uncle and the reason he was at my graduation instead of my parents. I explained that I wanted to clear the air and share the full story with everyone. I recounted how my parents had never supported my desire for education. I told them about the constant pressure to drop out and work for my dad's business instead. I described the ultimatum they gave me when I was 16, insisting I quit high school to work full-time. Then I explained how my uncle had stepped in. I shared how he offered to support my education financially when my parents refused. I made it clear that without my uncle's help, I would have had to drop out of high school and give up on my dreams of college. I addressed the rumors head-on. I said my uncle never tried to come between me and my parents. He simply wanted to support my education and help me achieve my goals. I emphasized that he didn't have any ulterior motives. He was just being kind and generous to his nephew. I also called out my parents for their hypocrisy. I revealed how they had taken credit for my educational achievements and bragged to others about putting me through college when in reality they had contributed nothing and had actively tried to prevent me from continuing my education. As I spoke, I could see the shock on people's faces. Many of them had only heard my parents' version of events. They had no idea about the real story behind my education and graduation. My parents looked furious as I exposed their lies. They tried to interrupt a few times, but I firmly asked them to let me finish. I knew this was my chance to finally tell my truth, and I wasn't going to let them silence me again. When I finished speaking, I turned to my uncle. With tears in my eyes, I thanked him for everything he had done for me. I told him that I wouldn't be where I am today without his support and belief in me. I said he was the reason I was able to graduate college and pursue my dreams. The room was silent for a moment after I finished. Then my uncle stood up and hugged me. He said he was proud of me, not just for my academic achievements, but for having the courage to stand up for the truth. After that, other family members started speaking up. Many of them apologized to my uncle for believing the rumors about him. They thanked him for supporting me when my parents wouldn't. Some of them also expressed disappointment in my parents for their actions. My parents were livid. They accused me of turning the family against them and humiliating them in front of everyone. They insisted that they had always wanted what was best for me and that I was being ungrateful. But this time, no one was buying their excuses. Several relatives pointed out how my parents' story kept changing. First, they had claimed to be paying for my education. Now they were saying they opposed it for my own good. Their lies were unraveling in front of everyone. One of my aunts spoke up and said she had always wondered how my parents were affording my college tuition when they constantly complained about money problems. Now it all made sense to her. She thanked my uncle for stepping up to help me when my parents wouldn't. My best friend, who had been there through a lot of the drama with my parents over the years, shared his perspective too. He talked about how he had seen me struggle with my parents' lack of support and how my uncle's help had changed everything for me. He said he was glad the truth was finally coming out. As the night went on, more and more people expressed their support for me and my uncle. Many of them shared their own stories of how education had changed their lives or their children's lives. They said they couldn't imagine trying to hold their kids back from getting an education. My parents eventually stormed out, but not before threatening to cut me off completely. Honestly, at that point, I felt nothing but relief. I had been carrying the weight of their lies and manipulation for so long. Finally telling the truth and having people believe me felt incredibly freeing. After my parents left, the gathering became much more relaxed and celebratory. People congratulated me on my graduation and my courage in standing up for myself. Many of them told me they were proud of me and inspired by my perseverance. My uncle pulled me aside at one point and told me how moved he was by what I had done. He said he never expected me to defend him like that and that it meant the world to him. He reassured me that he would always be there for me, no matter what happened with my parents. As the night wound down, I felt a mix of emotions. I was sad about the likely permanent rift with my parents, but I also felt lighter and more authentic than I had in years. I knew I had done the right thing by telling the truth and clearing my uncle's name. In the days that followed, I received many messages of support from family members and friends who had been at the gathering. Many of them told me they saw me in a new light and admired my integrity.
Some even shared that my story had inspired them to be more supportive of their own children's educational goals. My parents, on the other hand, have not spoken to me since that night. They're still angry and insist that I betrayed them. Part of me hopes that someday they'll come around and acknowledge the truth. But I'm also prepared for the possibility that this might be the end of our relationship. I won't pretend it's been easy. There are moments when I feel guilty or doubt my decision to expose everything. But then I remind myself of all the years of manipulation and lies. I think about how they were willing to sacrifice my future and slander my uncle just to save face. In those moments, I know I did the right thing. My uncle has been incredibly supportive through all of this. He keeps reminding me that none of this is my fault and that I have nothing to feel guilty about. He's helped me see that setting boundaries and standing up for the truth doesn't make me a bad person or a bad son. Looking ahead, I'm focused on moving forward with my life and career. I'm excited about the opportunities my education has opened up for me. I'm also working on building stronger relationships with the family members who have shown their support. I'm learning that family isn't just about blood relations. It's about the people who support you, believe in you, and want what's best for you. By that definition, my uncle is more family to me than my parents ever were. To anyone else dealing with unsupportive parents or family drama, I want to say, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and tell your truth. It's not easy, but it's worth it. You deserve to have your achievements celebrated and your support system acknowledged. Thank you again to everyone who offered advice on my original post. Your support gave me the courage to handle this difficult situation. I'm sure there will be more challenges ahead as I navigate this new family dynamic, but I feel stronger and more confident in myself than ever before.